We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. It's 5.29 a.m. I'm super tired, have not been to sleep yet, but who could sleep when we got a game like Crawl Tactics sitting there for us to play? I feel like I'm not going to be pronunciating, numbifying my words very well today, but it's okay. So Crawl Tactics, it's by Ice Phil, releasing on December 8th, 2022. And a big shout out and a thank you to the developer for hooking me up with the code for this. I reached out pretty late and they were still able to accommodate me. It means a lot, so thank you so much for that. That all being said, folks, um, we're going to dive in. We're going to play through the tutorial, and we're going to see how to do stuff. Uh, oddly, there's no music. There's a there's a music slider here, but there's no music. Weird. All right. Ooh, we have little little chirpies in the background. Cool. Uh, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, I'm going to try it with the keyboard and the mouse. I have no idea how this is going to play. I did a little tiny bit of testing just to see because I didn't see the option to change what direction your cursor moves when you press like up, down, left, right. And when you press up, for me, every time you press up, the characters and the stuff should be moving this direction. Uh, in this game, they move this direction. So basically it needs to be like 90 degrees different. It's this is like a super old school version, and some games still have it to this day. But like, uh, I think this is how the original Final Fantasy Tactics were, where uh, when you press up, it went this direction. But most modern games, and it's what I've gotten used to, when you press up, essentially the cursor goes toward the top left of the screen versus the top right of the screen. And if the developer checks this out and watches this, there's ever a way you can add that as an option, if not just change it for me. Yes, I am very important. You should change it for me. No, um, if you can add it as an option, that would be fantastic. Because I, I generally like playing tactics games. Most of them, not all of them, but I, I like playing most of them with a controller. And that uh, cursor movement kind of destroys me. But this game looks like it's going to be totally fine with a keyboard and mouse, and I'm here for it. All right, enough babbling. Let's get into it. Introduction, welcome. This is an explanation of basic elements of Crawl Tactics. Press continue to proceed. If you want to try again or something's wrong, press redo button. Okay. If you want to skip current content, skip button. Uh, next button, next entry. Crawl Tactics is easy, easily playable without the use of a tutorial. Press F11 to view common hotkeys. Uh, okay. Many buttons and UI elements have tooltips that can be seen when hovered over. Middle mouse button or... On screen compass is dedicated to rotating the screen. Let's zoom. Oh my god. Really? That's not Q and E? Huh. Well, that's a little bit of a surprise. Wow, that is a weird uh, rotating the map. It just literally throws it a 90 degree. Okay. That's cool. I just, I've never seen it that way before. That's very interesting. I like it. Okay, good. Uh, crawl Tactics is comprised of three phases, Exploration, Battle, and Town. You can see the phase icon in the top left corner of the screen. Exploration phase, move unit. In Exploration mode, the leader unit is selected automatically. The game will be over if the leader unit dies and its corpse disappears. The selected character can move freely by left-clicking the tile you want to go. If you move the cursor to the tile you want to move to, the path to the tile will appear. Got it. Uh, turns will not be increased in the exploration phase. All right, go to the tile. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Uh, well done. Each unit has its own jump rate. Uh, ju sorry, jump up rate and jump down rate. Usually a unit can only jump up one tile while jumping down two. Okay, that's interesting. So up one, up one, up one. But we could jump down here from this one. All right, I got gotcha. you. Note that the spike trap near the player unit did not hurt the player. Traps are, sorry, traps on tiles are activated only when a unit stops on it. That's good to know. Oh, uh, okay. Really? You're just going to hit me with lightning like that? Come on, man. Oh, no. Sudden lightning from the sky. Don't worry, though. Player, players' units will not die immediately, even if their HP goes to zero. Wait. So you're breaking the trope of HP above zero equals win? This guy. Trailblazer. 
This ice fill. Trailblazer. All right. Um, exploration move unit. Player unit will be in death's door state when their HP goes to zero in death's door state. Damaged unit has a 66% chance of dying, which seems bad. And healed unit will no longer... Oh, and if you heal it, they'll no longer be in the state. Got it. So you can pick up an item just by moving onto it. Pick up this healing potion. Bell done. Okay, shortcut buttons will appear when the player picks up a usable item. Try using the item. Use item. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Well done. Note that the death's door state is gone. You can open your inventory by either clicking the selected character again or clicking their portrait. Can I hit I? Oh, what does I do? Oh, it moves me up. What? What in the... I, K, L, and J. What? Why? What? And they're backwards. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. How, how, do, how does one move the map? Oh no. I can't. Okay. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's hit F11 again here. Because, like, the map is really. This is really weird keyboard command. Like, it's very strange. Very, very, very strange keyboard layout. I, J, K, L, and then you have the bracket buttons to rotate the... What? And they're backwards? Oh, I'm so confused. All right, doesn't matter. Inconsequential. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I'll be using mostly the mouse to play this game, it looks like. All right, uh, okay. So, uh, selected character's portrait. Is this a portrait? Yeah, it is. All right. Okay. Padded armor, short sword. We got uh, cure. It's apparently a support magic. We got disentangle. Interesting. And push. Okay. You can open the inventory by either clicking. Okay. Cool. 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 Good. Uh, you can equip on and or unequip gear. Uh, selecting it and pressing the corresponding button, or selecting it and holding left alt. Okay. Cool. Cool. You need to equip skills to use them in battle. You can learn a skill either by using a book or from the new skill section on level up. To learn a skill, the unit should have the corresponding knowledge. You can see the knowledge information in the, st the statistics section. Oh boy, stats, okay, up here. Uh, there are... the. These are knowledge and new skill buttons. New skill, and this is knowledge. Elemental magic, melee combat, and survivalism. Okay. And we need to have elemental magic, which we have. So, if I hold alt and I left click, there it is. Okay, well done. Learned skills will automatically be equipped if there is a free slot available. Otherwise, you should equip them manually. Got it. Exploration phase, uh, inventory. You can close it by either pressing the escape key or the right mouse button. Okay, well done. Thank you. You can hire companions to work with. Cool. To hire a unit, higher point should be higher than the number of companions in your party. Higher point is represented by the icon the arrow is pointing at. Okay, three out of four up there. Gotcha, gotcha. You can select a companion just by clicking it, or select next ally by pressing tab. Oh, okay, I like tab, that's good. Alright, uh, Dungeons of Crawl Tactics are composed of rooms. You can see the mini-map of the dungeon in the top right corner, pressing M, or the button will open the map view. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Not bad, not bad. I like the legend there. I think that's pretty cool. Well done. You are here. Yes, we are. Your goal is to arrive here. The numbers near the icons represent turns left until corruption. Huh. Corruption will chase you, and you will have to battle with unholy armies if the corruption catches you. That sounds bad. All right. Try moving the character to the door tile that the arrow is pointing to. 
We can enter the other room. All right, cool. Oh, bunch of frogs. Enemy encounter. All right, good. When enemies are in the room, the game phase will be changed from exploration to battle phase. Cool. Uh, before actual battle, you can organize your allies and position them and then, you know, get into battle. So this is the prepare battle phase. All right, you can see, or you can set your allies on the blue shaded areas. Yep, got it. Select the leader, try changing his position. Okay. You can use a card once before battle begins. Each card has various effects like changing position, healing, changing climate, etc. You can open it by hitting left Kataral. Control, and then cast heal on allies. All are healed. Well, the frogs seem to have gotten healed too or something. I don't know. All right. It's Solfu, Victus, and Balrus. All right. Well done. Each card can only be used once per dungeon. Oh, we just wasted it. You can change gear or skills in the state without consuming AP. Now, if you press enter, the battle will begin. Or we can hit engage battle. I think. Next. Uh, in the battle phase, player turns and enemy turns alternate. Each unit has AP points. Each action consumes AP. Hovering the cursor over a character or holding the left alt will show information. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, try selecting that... Sorry, the unit that the arrow is pointing at. Okay, gotcha. Yellow dots next to the HP bar. See it? There's two. Are AP points. Blue shaded tiles are the movable area, and red shaded tiles represent attackable things. Okay? Try moving the character by clicking the blue shaded tile that the arrow is pointing to or at. Okay? Uh, you can see that the AP was decreased by one. Flanking and backstabbing provide attack bonuses. Also, high ground gives attack bonuses while low ground gives penalties. Now, try attacking the enemy the arrows pointed at. Wham. Yeah. Well done. We backstabbed him and he was also pushed back. You can activate a trap by attacking it. Grab the archer, move the archer here, and shoot that. Oh. Oh my god. That was, uh... That was a lot. Well done. Note that the lightning causes splash damage near water tiles. When raining, every tile acts like a water tile. Okay, good to know. Some skills need mana to use. This is player party's mana point up there. Okay. It is shared by all party members and increases for each turn. Select the adventurer unit the arrow is pointing at. Okay. And then move over here. And then, oh, what's this? The numbers on the skill button provide information about the skill. The blue number represents mana usage, two mana. Okay. The red number, the cooling time, so we have to have one turn cooldown. And the green is quantity per dungeon level, so we can do this twice. Okay, attack the cannon with the burn magic. Can I hit three? Nope. All right. Boom. Oh my god. That was incredible. Wait, it's not done yet, is it? <gasps> oh. So many things just died. That was terrifying and amazing. Uh, well done. Note that the grass is uh, set on fire with magic flame. The fire spreads to near grass tiles every turn. Okay. Some magic spells are cast at the end of turn, but are very powerful. Uh, delayed magic. This skill is a delayed magic. You can see the D icon on the skill button. Okay, yeah, I see it. I'm not even low-hanging fruit, not going to do it. Try casting the delayed magic on the tile that the marker is directing. Okay, so we want to hit this, and we want to hit that. We spent all the allies AP. Let's end the turn. Where did all these extra frogs come from? Okay, let's end turn. Can I just press E? Nope. End turn. Oh, the, fro the frog army's coming. Ish. Cool. We just ray blasted them down because they lined up like so much confetti. All right, now it's the enemy's turn. Well, 
Often, soul shards appear on the battleground. They disappear after a few turns, but automatically be picked up uh, when the battle is over before it disappears. Souls can be used to upgrade magic spells, construct or upgrade buildings. So, defeat some enemies. Okay. Well, I think we're going to start off with a little bit of the old, uh, the old archery uh, action here. Boom. And victory is ours. Ooh, we got a mana crystal, 14 gold, a dispel potion, 18, 20, 20, and 45. Very nice. Good, good. After the battle's over, allies get a EXP or XP and can level up. Now move on to the next room. All right, let's do it. Aha! Good! We have reached the goal room. There is a treasure in the goal room. Pick up the treasure. Okay. Pick up the treasure. Now move on to the portal room. Now go to the portal. I don't know that I want to do that. All right, I'll do it. It's fine. Well done. This is your town. That doesn't look like a town to me, but oh, okay. This is the town phase. You can build or upgrade buildings here. You can open the information window by clicking this building. Try clicking the building. Okay, well done. In these spots, you can place new buildings. Try clicking one of the spots. Um... Now choose a building to build. Choose any building you want. Uh, you can hire your allies here. You can change classes of your allies here. Sells melee weapons, sells ranged weapons, armor, accessories, potions, earn experience of your allies through soul. Huh. Upgrade your the skills of your allies. The barracks teaches skills, and the magic library teaches magic spells. I mean, the tavern just feels like the best thing we can get. I'm just saying. Good job. You can now move on to the next dungeon using the portal. Click the portal. I don't want to click the portal. I want to... What, what's this thing? I want to pick up the little, little wine cast things or mead barrels. Uh, oh, choose the next route. Okay. Interesting. We have a ruin, and we have a forest. It remains of a lost civilization's architecture. Rocky ruin buildings and grasses and ponds coexist. No rain in this area. Okay, proceed. Hey, the tutorial is over. All right, guys and gals. Well, I mean, I would have I would have had maybe a little bit of music on the menus. Um, I would have definitely chosen some different control schemes, but by and large, game still looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I am looking forward to playing it. I may give the controller another shot. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about the controller is the cursor doesn't go the direction I want it to. Um, everything else seems to be fine. And uh, with the keyboard and mouse, uh, most of it's just mouse work because none of the traditional keys that I would want to press is uh, working. I mean, I guess M for map. We got that. We got the M for map. But it's it's all good, guys and gals. Um, yeah, game is called Crawl Tactics. It came out on december 8th 2022 and if you guys want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer or any of that wonderful fun stuff down below in the description of the video there'll be various links just like there always are and yeah like subscribe share uh learn to do logarithmic algebra and i don't think those are words that go together but we're going to pretend they are and then somehow hack the youtube algorithm to love me more and uh, i'd be greatly appreciative of that until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>